Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome to day 16 of the Redstone Advent Calendar. And today we're going to take a look at another hidden input device. This time it is known as the Waterfall Key. Now that might sound rather strange, but I think this is a really cool concept that makes use of waterfalls to create a redstone output. So let's take a closer look. So what we have in front of us is a waterfall. Now, it's not the best looking waterfall in the world, I will admit that. I haven't done the best job with this one. I'm sure you guys could come up with some kind of insane looking waterfall that looks absolutely beautiful, but this one will do for my demonstration. All we have to do is take out this water source, and as you can see, our redstone lamp turns on. Then when we replace the water, the redstone lamp turns off. That's essentially it. So if you wanted to link this up to your base or some form of hidden trapdoor or something like that, then the only way that you could get access is of course to take out your own waterfall, that would open everything up, and then you replace the water to close everything away. I think it's a really cool idea and it's quite an interesting concept and I can't wait to see it applied. So this is what all of the redstone looks like for the bottom circuit. So down here is where the water falls on top of this sticky piston. Then of course we've got the redstone block which is powering all of this redstone. And when we cause this piston an update, it will extend meaning that we get ourselves a redstone output. So when we take out the water, of course that will update the piston, causing it to extend and then we get our redstone output through the circuit. Now to build it, all we need to do is place down the sticky piston, the redstone block, then our two bits of redstone dust, our repeater, and goes up into this tiny little torch tower here, which runs back around into this block right here. It's an extremely simple circuit, incredibly easy to build, and I think it's really quite effective. Now my second design for today's video is this fountain design. As you can see right here, we have got ourselves a water fountain, and unfortunately we've had to do the redstone in a slightly different way, which is a tiny bit more complicated, as you can see down at the bottom here. But once again, if we take out the water, we get ourselves a redstone output. This time it's not a toggle, instead it's just a single redstone output. But of course, when we chuck the water back in, we also get another redstone output. Now you could link this up to a T flip flop, which then runs into a door or something like that, and it will all work perfectly fine. But the reason this is a tiny bit more complicated is of course because we've had to use a vertical bud due to the fact that we have some height limitations in terms of our circuitry. So to build this one, of course, you want to get things started with a little water fountain area. Then you want to head down to the bottom here, take out one of the blocks off to one side, place a sticky piston facing downwards with a block on its face. Then you want to go a couple blocks down like this, block down at the bottom here with a redstone torch off to the side. You want to place a regular piston facing across like this, then create this little area right here. We are going to be running redstone out the center and going across like that. We want to place a repeater set to four ticks and a repeater set to two ticks that's going to be running up into this block with this redstone torch on top. Now that will actually create our vertical bud right there. As you can see, this piston is powered but isn't extended until of course we update it, in which case it extends and then everything resets. Now to get the output from this one, we need to run a repeater out like this into this little three by two area here with redstone dust off like this and redstone dust off like this with comparators facing one another. The reason we have to do that is because when the dis water disappears, it actually causes two updates, which is a little bit frustrating. So now, as you can see, when we place in our water, we get ourselves a redstone output through the circuit that goes through the pulse extender. And of course, when we take the water away, we also get ourselves a redstone output. So there we go. That is that circuit all completed. But before I go, I just want to mention, of course, I am doing this advent calendar in collaboration with Exumavoid. So if you do want to check out his advent calendar for today, then I'll put a link to that one on the screen and also down in the description. But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.